Oh, this your girl Monica, and you're checking out my boy David Dwayne. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy David Dwayne right here, live from Philly. We got our girl recording artist, R&B recording artist, <laughs> Monica. How are you? I'm good. Oh my goodness, it is such a pleasure to see you because, like I told you, I've been a fan of yours for forever. So thanks so much for this opportunity. Thank you. So Cold Red, how are you feeling about the project? Because I mean. It's already available in pre-order. Got a lot of great tracks on there. Absolutely love the single. Thank and the tour is present right now. How's everything been so far to the response? It's been great because you don't know what to expect, you know, especially when you have been around, like as long as I have, you just never mm -hmm. know what the next project brings. So the goal is just to have the same sincerity and be authentic and just be transparent and be okay with people seeing you from the inside out, especially musically. So Absolutely. That's definitely been happening night after night on the uh, Code Red Experience Tour, but I love that with the pre-order, you get a song so every so often. Right. So you get a chance to kind of get a peek into the album before December 18th when it drops and you get a chance to see what people feel like Hustlers and Vision with Akon and I. Right. And then you got a Love chance to hear I Know which is a record from my husband. So it's kind of like you get a chance to get this sneak peek into it before the 18th comes. So I'm really excited with the way it's going. Absolutely. So concept for the album, how did you come up with it? I, you know, Cold Because I have a red hair which I absolutely love. Well, I didn't <laughs> when I named it. I did it after I oh, named really? the album. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I, I was just feeling like, what says that we're in a state of emergency and I went to sleep one night and I got up and just like cold red. That's the first thing to say, stop, wait, hold up, there's something wrong here. And when right. I say that, I just mean that there's a, a love for music that lives deep within me, but there are a lot of people that feel the same way. So R&B music as a whole isn't as respected as it used to be, but mm -hmm. I don't think that it has to stay that way. Right. So this is just me saying that this is a genre that's loved enough to be pushed and to be... Um, understood a little bit more than it is because I love the music of today, don't get me wrong. Right. But when you're out there and you see people remember where they are when they heard Angelina or what they were going through when they heard so long. Their right. heart was broken when they heard uh, until it's gone or for you I will it was just they were just happy. You know right. whatever the emotion was, you don't want to lose that when it comes to music. So we just fight for job. Absolutely. And how do you feel R and B has changed? Oh it's completely different. I mean what's considered R and B is 95 when I came out when right. they considered R&B, but here again, I'm just not a person that uh, complains about everything uh, evolves just like I have as an artist and the evolution of music, I can't stop the change, so I just kind of merge with it and make sure I bring what I love and what I do to what's current. Absolutely, and I gotta say, uh, Angel of Mind is absolutely my all-time favorite. When you perform that record, you know, uh, within this tour, like how, how are the fans reacting to, you know, see the old classics? Um, with this experience. It's pretty dope because they have their own memories and moments with the song just like I do. And for me, like when I sing Angel of Mine, I think about the people that we've lost and sometimes I even say that to them. So it's one of those records that can touch you in a special place, but it's still a moment where you can see that everybody's having their own silly emotions. Right. <laughs> That's amazing because when I listen to that record, I just think of like, you know, what state of mind I was and just trying to like imagine what would life be like once I get to that age. Because when that record was out, you know, you were a teenager and I was like way young. I was like, you know, what would that be like? You know, just to put myself in that box. It's crazy because I have different memories naturally. Um, for instance, before you walk out of my life, I remember being harnessed to that roof in 90 degree weather and just asking, are we almost there? I mean, I was like three shades darker when we got off because I was actually harnessed on top of a house right in LA. And right. you know, of course they were afraid of me falling, but they wanted the shot to look a certain way. And as much as I love looking at that video now, you would never know what that one moment took. So my memories are always gonna be different than mm -hmm. the memories of someone in the audience, but they're right. there. Absolutely. So tell me about how you um, and Lil Wayne came together for this new single. Polo to Don is actually the executive producer of the album. And yeah, and he, he did the song, and what I kept saying was, I want somebody that not only has their own follow but understands the music of then and now. And if you look at Wayne's career, he's been able to sustain himself and create a legacy that many are still copying and following. Like, yes. you know, kids now they want to skateboard. They're embracing lots of different things because he created his own life. And I wanted it to be someone like that on a record like this because for me, it's important that it kept it in its integrity because mm -hmm. I actually called and asked Smoke Robinson's permission first before we sampled this song. Right, so those kinds of things are important to me and I picked 
you know, who I work with based on those things. Right. And let's talk about like how important it is to like, you know, clear a sample because a lot of people don't understand how like that's very important, especially with R&B music and hip hop. We see a lot of, you know, samples nowadays, especially like the good classic ones. Well, I mean, if you don't mind being sued and cutting big checks, then don't clear a sample. It's like simple right. mathematics, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and now, I know there are other different things where songs sound similar and those intricate details are totally different. Right. But when we take a song, like you hear Smokey's voice, there is no if, ands, or buts about it. When we did everything to me, I spoke to Miss Denise, uh, Denise Williams. And right. even had her come out on the on the BT Awards and sing it with me. That's just the way that I am because I would hope that someone would respect me and my artistry enough to do right. the same for me. So I'm just one of those people that believe in treating others the way you want to be treated. So when I go in and work, you know, we could cut corners and change a tone or two and get around it, but for what? You know, so I've been really fortunate that everyone that we've sampled has been extremely, extremely uh, comfortable with it and giving me their blessing. And, even offering to be in videos at wow. points or whatever. That's but it's probably cool. because they know that I respect them. Right. And I gotta say, I love the whole album because I got a chance to hear it, but, and I love the record that you have with your daughter, Missy. Oh, like, Cole Red. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just love it. Yeah, it's just fun. And if you if you come from Atlanta, or if you go back and watch the movie ATL, you hear the kind of music that's behind it. That really embodies like the whole era back when in our town, everybody was skating and having fun, having a good time. And then to have Missy actually uh, rap over the record and flip it. And then my daughter was actually, uh, she actually was on FaceTime with me while I was recording the song. And they were like, this sounds dope. She's talking on beat. You know, and we're like talking back and forth to each other, but she's extremely musical. She's already really into it. She asks it on stage every night. That's amazing. <laughs> Speaking of amazing, you have a beautiful family. Thank you. I gotta say, how was it, you know, being able to, you know, juggle life as a porn artist now versus then, you know, now that being with your mother? You know, I never pretend that it's easy, but it's doable if you prioritize. And for me, they come first. You know, I take longer breaks than most. Right. Um, I structure the way that I work different than some, you know, but I do what works for my family because they absolutely love me without condition and that's something that's irreplaceable you can't get that not even get the stage because i think that they get a chance to see me no makeup no hair done they just love mommy and they love being around so they enjoyed like the whole first half of the tour they were out here the boys were taking different jobs and working meet and greet so Aww. we were having a good time that's so amazing yeah and i've heard keep been hearing like great things about the tour like there is even like a rumor of there being a part two yeah that's that? what, well that's what they keep asking me i haven't signed anything or done anything you know we'll sit down my husband and i and talk about it and see you know how we want to structure it all right because we try to keep that balance where we make sure the family is in order and then you got the top of the year coming and another single coming and right. oh, you know, so we're looking forward to it. We're working on it. That's absolutely amazing. So now, um, what's next after the tour for you? Well, of course, we want to make sure that we get that run in where we really get this promotional stuff done and make sure people know that the album is coming on December 18th and make sure that they know um, what the singles are, what the songs are. And I just want to make sure that they're connected with Cold Red because mm -hmm. it's a part of my heart that you know, when you when you record, it's very different because it's just you, the producers, the writers, you know, the very close, intimate people. So we know what it all means. Now it's my job to get out here and explain to the viewing public exactly what it means and exactly what I'm fighting for when I say code red. Absolutely. Well, Monica, thanks so much for this interview. I'm definitely yeah. looking forward to, you know, everybody coming out. If they haven't come out to the tour, they need to. And they need to get the album, which comes out December 18th. Pre-order it. iTunes, Amazon, get the whole thing. Because trust me, I got it on pre-order, <laughs> physical, and digital. All right, now. Because I love the album. Say that. You Thank did you. amazing. Thank um, you. One quick question for you. Who would you like to collaborate with female-wise and male-wise that you haven't with already? I've never had a chance to collaborate with Mary. And she's just the epitome of real strong solid woman like she's always been there for me personally but professionally we've never really worked together so that's something that I, I really look forward to doing and I would have to say I've always wanted to do a real record with Akon and I'm really really excited about the fact that it happened this album. That's a great record too. Are you guys in the video? Thank you. We'll see. That's amazing. Cut them checks. Budget. Open them up.
Right. I shot the last one so they can shoot the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get tell everybody where they can um, follow you on social media. It's easy, y'all. My Twitter and my Instagram is at Monica Brown, and my Snapchat is Much Love Mo. Perfect. And I'm David Wayne. Make sure you follow me, David Wayne Official, and D Wayne Official on Twitter. Peace out. It's your girl, Monica. Chilling with my boy David Dwayne. Make sure you guys cop my latest album, Code Red. It is the ultimate fight for R&B music. We're never letting it die. December 18th is in stores. Love you guys.